Hey, Seawolf Community, Chancellor Sandine here with another segment of Ask a UAA Expert. Take a look. Hi, I'm Vivian Gonzalez with the University of Alaska Anchorage Department of Psychology. And today I'm gonna to be answering some questions about the effects of quarantine and self-isolation on mental health. So what are the effects of quarantine and self-isolation on mental health? Well, quarantine and self-isolation can both have negative effects on mental health. However, for most people, they're gonna experience mild distress and boredom associated with this. However, some people are gonna experience more significant problems. For those folks, they could experience significant increases in anxiety and fear, sadness, loneliness, insomnia, as well as potentially problems with alcohol and drugs. What are things that contribute to the negative effects of quarantine? Well, these include things such as having a feeling of confinement, loss of our usual routine or meaningful activity, financial strain or stress, fear that we've been infected or that we may have infected others, as well as loss of social and physical contact with other people. How can I best cope with quarantine or self-isolation? One is to keep a healthy mindset. What you're doing is helping to keep other people safe and stopping the spread of COVID-19. It's also really important to remember that this will not last forever. Two, make an effort to make social contact with other people. There's lots of ways of making contact with other folks that does not involve risk of infection. Things like phone call, text, Skype or FaceTime, and social media. Reach out to other people. Three, keep a schedule and a routine. While it can seem like a blessing not to be bound by a schedule, schedules actually do a lot for us. They contribute to our sense of well-being, they give us a sense of purpose, and help us to avoid depression. Plan a schedule. Make a point to get up and go to sleep at the same time every day. That's going to help you avoid problems with insomnia. Eat meals at regular times. Get up and get dressed every day. Don't stay in pajamas. Four, do things you enjoy. Find things to do that you enjoy every day. Now these might not be exactly the same things that you did before, but look for alternatives. For example, if you love to travel, you could start planning your next trip. Five, get moving. Try to get some exercise indoors, or if you can do so safely, get outside. Six, accept that you're going to have some negative feelings. That is completely normal and to be expected. Avoid using alcohol or drugs to cope with those negative emotions. Finally, if after quarantine is over, you're still suffering from increased anxiety or depression, or you've experienced an increase in your alcohol or drug use, get help. 